sort of why you're playing so well? Are you refocused? Yeah, well, I think, you know, my play on the field has always been great if you always look back. I mean, if you look back on it uh, to my days in Atlanta, I'm just uh, playing at a high level now because, uh, you know, because of different uh, different uh, situations. But, um, you know, I, I try to focus on, uh, you know, what my primary obligations are each and every day I wake up. And, uh, you know, try to make the most rational decisions each and every day. And I think that's helped me, uh, you know, in my life uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And, uh, you know, I put all of my priorities first, things that are more most important, and, uh, you know, taking care of uh, things, whether it's football or, or whether it's uh, being here speaking to a group of kids on, uh, you know, fighting the fight against dog fighting. So just make sure I do what's right. Michael over Hill? here and then over here. Yes. You know, listening to the students in that auditorium and at Hill House too, a lot of excitement to see you here. And so, do you worry at all? And this is for Wing too. Do you worry at all that that your celebrity almost overwhelms the message you're trying to send? That that some some of these students are just so excited to see you and kind of be close to you that they may not internalize and that much of this. That's the reason I try to uh, calm the crowd down. Uh, kids can be very rowdy. Uh, it's totally understandable. They're young, they're excited. Uh, you know, they rarely have a chance to see, uh, you know, a guy walk in who they just watched on TV two days ago. And, um, you know, it's great to have that opportunity, but, you know, the most important thing is bearing down on the message. And, uh, you know, I make it a point to try to focus in on the task at hand uh, getting the message out there, uh, keeping an open dialogue as, as much as possible, uh, getting them involved, and uh, you know, making sure they understand you know the reason that I'm here. You know, there's a lot of uh, I think there's a lot behind this whole phenomenon of dog fighting in urban communities. I mean, it's clearly been seen as hip. It's seen as some sort of way to get ahead in some of these communities in terms of status. And I'll tell you that if Mike wasn't speaking at these schools, I'd be really worried if he were silent. Because then the message might be, well, you know, he did this and he's back in the NFL. So that's why we want to keep him out front, reminding kids that, you know, he's back in spite of this. And he really faced a lot of long odds to come back. I mean, most NFL careers, what is it, Mike, four years? I mean, you had eight years. Yeah, you had eight years and now he's coming back. So. This is very rare, and I, I think that, you know, what we're interested in doing at the Humane Society is using his celebrity to really reach kids with his message in a strong way. Yes, sir. Michael,